Okay folks, today's exercise is see if we can make a latch for the boot lid for the Escort. Uh, I've got the um, the top apart, the top piece if you like, the one that connects up to the lock mechanism. And I just need the little bar section that that that, that latches onto. Um, they don't appear to be available. I've had a look to see if there's any available uh, second hand, but nothing. But having a look at one picture of one, I reckon we can make one. So let's have a crack at it. We've got this piece, which I uh, managed to find on good old eBay. Now this fits, uh, no, I've, I've removed all the rubbish it was on here previously and uh, got the lock out ready. I haven't got a key for that lock, so that's, that's a, another challenge. We'll come back to that later on. But uh, So that, that fits in there. And as the boot closes, it should latch on to sort of a bar mechanism that basically sticks out of there like so. And my plan is using a bolt, uh, a, a captive extender nut thing, which I can turn down on the lathe to be the right diameter I want, and some two, two mil plate to make a base for it. I reckon we could knock something up. Certainly worth a try to see what we come across. Because even if I, even if this just works for a temporary basis, I need to be able to latch the boot down and have it in place so I can sort the gaps out on the on the boot lid. I've ordered a boot rubber, so hopefully that'll come soon enough. So if we can get the latch working to a fashion, so it'll latch down and stay in place, then that'll be a good good thing for us to do. Alright though, so my first intention is to turn this connector nut down. until it resembles something around about 10 mil or 11 mil that will fit just nicely in that striker there so as it goes in then it will snag on there but it won't come out like that one does and that's sort of the, the shape that um, the original one had I found a picture of it, I put it up to the side here somewhere to show you and that's basically what I'm going off so let's get that turned down first then we'll see about bending this around into shape. Uh, I think the, the very first thing you need to do is cut the end of that nut off. I'll just do that quickly now. Right, now we can get it in the vise. The jaw chuck, I should say. There we go, perfect. There we go, so that's nice and rounded off now, and that work is a nice pin to grab into there. Lovely, right, next thing I want to do is get this bent round and back again to about that sort of depth. <clears throat> ah, before, before I do that, I want to clean that zinc off of there, so we'll chuck this back in there just to do that. Right, that's that nice and cleaned up. About there, I reckon.
with it. So that has got us a nice bend on that. So we'll clean that up and then we'll start making the, the base plate. Lovely. Yeah, that'll do us nicely. Right, put that to one side. Cut off a piece of plate. That's uh, about two mil thick, if I remember rightly, or two and a half mil thick, something like that. And that uh, be our base plate for on there. And the idea then is to fix this into that, as well as cut in holes and what have you, and shape get the shapes. So it looks there about correct. So get some holes in this next, I think. Get some cheating engineers blue. That would be if the pen wasn't dead. That'll do us. Okie doke. So our holes left to right. Jeez, that's left and right, that's up. Is 33, so. About how far up should we be, is the question. So we need 15 up from the bottom. Is our centre 33? So half of 33 is going to be 32, 16 and a half. Other holes you want is going to be just oop, I don't. try that again. The other holes you want is going to be for this, okay? So, you, effectively, you want this to start around there somewhere and back down to there. So, our centers for this is 30. So, if we come in at 10 and 40. Should be there or thereabouts. So let's get some holes drilled in that. Hopefully, I can get these in the right place because I'm not very good at this. Lining these up. That looks promising. That's 30. Lovely. Yeah, okay, so if we make a 10 by 10 hole, squared out hole, we can drill, drill that out to 10 mil. Yeah, if I drill that out to 10 mil, and then we can see if we can square it off. And that gives us our adjustment that we need on that, on that, uh, on that um, flange.
And Dilly's out to 10 and he's to 8. Put the fingers to date. The idea of drilling those out is that will fit into there with a bit of encouragement and we can weld it up from the other side so it looks neater. And that pretty much in principle is basically our latch. I'll turn this around so you can see it. Just then from the boot to come down latch on and away you go and of course it's the is where it ends up on that because we're pushing against the rubbers is where that is and then we whoop, out lovely now right, I should clean the face of this up oh no 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 get ahead of myself let's get that out of there so what we want to do next is put a bit of shape in this. So from what I can see from the picture as a rough guide, about 30 mil up on both sides. It tapers in towards the top there. We'll cut those off and then round everything up, clean everything off and then start welding bits on. What I might do is leave those holes as rounds because there's probably enough adjustment in that for what we want. We can always open them up again if we need to. Yeah, okay, let's cut those off and tidy that up. Super. Right, what I want to do next is oh, just put a bit of a chamfer on those. So when that bit pokes through, we can got, got a bit of a chamfer to clean up and weld with. Ten mil bit will do that for us. Cut that off now, take it back out and put a bit of a chamfer on those and when we weld it in it'll be a nice full weld. Super! Right, let's weld that in place. Woohoo, that's toasty. Lovely. Right, we'll let that cool down and then we'll have a closer look at it. And there it is as it stands. So it's fairly easy to make, to be fair. Um, the only thing which I have access to, which most possibly haven't, is the uh, the oxyacetylene or the oxypropane, as it happens, for, for bending those. But I think an ordinary um, blow lamp would do it to just be a bit more careful because an ordinary blow lamp would spread the heat further, which would make the radius longer. So it's just a matter of working out what works best. That's fairly straightforward, easy enough to make, no longer available. So 
can't buy it, build it. One striker plate made and in position. As you can see, got plenty, plenty of adjustment on it now to up and down, left and right. So hopefully that will give us enough that we need just to get the boot lined up. If not, we'll uh, open it out. Now my intention is to um, nickel plate this. So I've got the kit, or the bits and bobs coming to do that. It's something I've been looking forward to do for a, for a while. It's been on my to-do list to have a go at. So that'll be the next thing. When those bits turn up, we'll have a crack at that. So we've got the uh, UNC bolts have arrived in uh, the post from good old eBay. So we can, that's now bolted up to there. I've got the lock loosely placed in, in case I need to get my fingers in there. And my homemade key, because it didn't come with a key. So happy days. So let's try it out. Lovely, it closes. Now interestingly, obviously I have closed this already once. This makes the gap smaller there. And the gap there or thereabouts, the right size on that side. So it looks like you only need to gap this on one side. And uh, the next million dollar question is, uh, lovely, happy days. So that does its job very nicely. So we now have a, a boot that latches properly. So I'm still waiting. So this is why this is, it's been a while before this video is going to go out. I'm still waiting for some stuff to turn up so I can have a go at zinc plating or um, nickel plating, that part there. Time to do some experimentaling. So having a crack at uh, electro plating. And this is just what I've uh, learned off YouTube with what other guys have done. So a couple of bits of nickel in there. One there on a positive, one there on a negative. And you see it's spinning away quite nicely. There's about 12 volts going into that, There's about two amps for an old uh, charger over there, which I've sort of modified to mull into this. And the idea is to make the electrolyte so we can have a go at plating that. What's the worst that can happen? Right, I've resorted to a battery because the power supplies just weren't hanging in there. There's definitely something going on here. There's all sorts of dendrites collecting on the negative side. Um, the water's not changing colour very much. I was expecting that to be a lot greener by now. But let's see, keep, keep an eye on see what, see what happens. Okay, I think that voltage might have been too high because the nickel, instead, instead of becoming dissolved in the water, seems to be just becoming chunks. Or dissolved in the, in the acid rather, the vinegar. So I'm not quite sure what's going on now. Right, had a rummage, found another power supply. This one's at 9 volts at 2 amps. And I've pulled the positive one out of the water just a little bit. I think it's drawing too many amps. So let's give that a whirl for a little bit and see what happens there. Right, oh, this has been picking away for a while now. And it's got a slight hint of green to it, but it's not quite the dark green I was expecting. But I think it's time to try it out and test it. So I've got myself a brass radiator key. So it's something that will be obviously change colour if it works. I've got some brick acid, oh, sorry. patio cleaner, some distilled water. So we'll give this a take this out of there. Put that to one side. I mould it with a with a positive. All right, let's give that a, a wash in the acid. A clean in the distilled water. Get it in there. Nice and shiny. And let's give it a dunk, see what happens. Oh, something's happening. There's definitely plating. 
Not very shiny though. So it's not fast it works though. Well, it's good news that it's definitely getting the plate on there. Uh, let's give that a clean up and see what happens. See what that, see what happens to it. Now for a very quick clean up with a bit of tea cut. That has come up very shiny and I put almost no effort into cleaning that up beforehand so I've had to put a bit more effort into cleaning this up while brushing it and getting into all the nooks and crannies. No doubt that would have plated even better than that. So put a quick dunk in acid and water and straight in. I'm quite uh, buoyed by that. Okay. Time to jump in at the deep end. There's one of our pieces of latch which I've taken apart and cleaned up ready so this I have cleaned up on a wire wheel and prepared hopefully <clears throat> so let's give that a share of that so I set you up on a, on a tripod I think right hopefully this angle will show everything what uh, I'm attempting to do here without shaking around like an idiot all right so here's our piece all wire brushed up ready so let's give that a, a dunk in the acid Fizzing away nicely. Which hopefully means it's cleaning off all the only last bits of grime on it. Now if this is neat out of the straight neat out of here, so whether I should have diluted it or not, I don't know. But uh we'll see. And I've got good ventilation in here as well, so it's not like I'm uh, I'm in a particularly enclosed space. Going to the water rinse off. Pull that back out of there. Now be careful, I don't short this out now. promising it's changing color spin it around to get the other side done <clears throat> Thinks like a chip shop in it now. Keep promising. It's a little bit in there, you can't seem to get. So I'm going to aim that towards it a bit better. Could be I need to get my electrode in further. Leave this bit. Oh, got my shots worn away. Oh, now we're spinning. Yeah, it's looking better. A bit on the side it hasn't taken to. Well, that, looks as, that looks the same as that did when I first came out. So that's promising. Just a couple of bits down the side there it hasn't taken to. So maybe I can just get a bit of sandpaper on there and clean that, clean that up and try it again. Let's give that a whirl. Right. Got a bit of emery cloth. I don't see why this shouldn't work. I can clean that off there where it hasn't taken. And dunk it again. Oh, 
Yes, so you can. Don't get back in the acid now because that'll take off the plate that I have got on there. Interestingly, that bit is fizzing the most, which I've just cleaned up. Oh, that's worth the treat. There we are. Yeah, I think we're on to a win, are we? Now, I'm not going to worry about polishing this up particularly until it's all back together. Then I can give the whole thing a bit of a, a clean up, a buff up. Okay, next bit. Is that going to go in there then? That will, with a bit of a uh, jiggly pokery. Okay, so this is the piece I particularly wanted to work on because this, as you remember, is a bit I've made. So let's give that a an acid bath. in first and then put me an electrode on it. There we go. There she goes. Well it's definitely plated. Only a little bit it doesn't seem to have taken is oh, if I can get the thing around oh, too long, you know. there you go. it is just around there but the rest of it's taken nicely and of course this would be oiled my, my main concern was here where the catch is going to be going on and off all the time to give that a bit of, a bit of strength there. Right, I'm going to give this a polish up and see what it looks like. After a very quick clean up and a polish, this is what we got. I'm very pleased with that, I've got to say. Obviously, the uh, if I put more effort into buffing it up, then the better finish you get, because it is the finish you get is what's underneath. But it is just a latch at the end of the day. It's not like an ornament or anything. And all I want is, is a tough corrosion resistant coating on it, uh, which looks half about. And I'm quite happy with that. Happy days. Right, I'm going to crack on with doing the others off, other bits off camera now and put it all together and show you what we got. And there we go. All fitted back in the car and looking dandy. I need to do something about these to make these a bit more authentic. But I'll think about that as I get some little button heads perhaps rather than the full Allen keys. But that's not the end of the world. The idea is just to get in this looking half about and it looks a lot nicer than it did. And hopefully it'll be corrosion resistant, well, time will tell. And the same with our latch that we've made. That's all nice and shiny now. And looks a business. And hopefully the nickel being hard wearing, the striker will last a long time before it starts to go too rusty. Of course, this will be packed with grease when the time comes to start using it in anger. And one final close. Happy days. That's another one knocked off the list. So that's the boot lid now nicely latched down. I'm still waiting for the boot rubber to come in the post so we can uh, start working on the gaps around the boot lid. But really for this episode, all I wanted to do was make that boot latch and get the boot latching and having a crack at the electro plating, getting it nickel plated, but that was a bonus really. That's, uh, like I said earlier, it's something I've wanted to have a crack at for a while. Always been a bit nervous to doing it, thinking maybe a bit more to it than it was, but it actually wasn't that difficult as it happened. So happy days. That's the wonders of YouTube. You can learn all sorts on YouTube. Uh, without YouTube, I would never have known how to do electro, electro plating. So happy days. Thank you to the guys that figured that out. And the easy, cheap way to do it. It's only a bit of vinegar and a bit of um, nickel and an old 
charger and that, that basically is it uh, so I may look at doing zinc plating and zinc passivating down the line maybe I'll even think about buying a kit because uh, it does look nice the, the yellow zinc passivate finish does look nice especially on like carbs and stuff like that and engine bits so but now I know the basics brilliant thanks again for watching uh, please do like and subscribe and share I have learned recently that the more uh, people interact with the video the more the algorithm pushes it along and the more it goes I've got, I've got two videos which I've put on which w have gone really well uh, one on the where I did the bubble arch with a gasless uh, gasless yeah that's right gasless wire and one of the episodes of the Manta where he did some rust repairs in the Manta they they went crazy they, they've I think one's over 50,000 views and one's over 80,000 views but normally I get about sort of between five and seven thousand views per video and I have no idea why those two went mad other than mad by my terms anyway it's not, certainly not millions of views but hey hey ho oh, I don't expect that but I can only presume it's to do with the uh, the likes and the shares and what I've used. So if everybody watches the video, puts a like on, that would be a huge help. See you on the next one. Right, go. You said it was the right way. Push it on further. It is. She's got to hold it. No, oh, push it on, push it on, so it's onto the nut. You're not on the nut, right? There you go. Oh, okay. There you go. Now just pull it out. There you go. <laughs> Make sure it's all on the edge around the edge. There you go. Whoops. Stop. Sorry. How does it get on? You done, I think. Just do it gently. I don't want to break anything. I think I think the nut's off. Yeah, it is. There you go. Was it off? Was it? Yeah. yeah. It there you go. No. Ah. Keep going. Keep going until it stops clicking. I really don't want to break. Keep going until it stops clicking. There you go, it's off. Excellent, well done. Um, uh, hang on. Do I take that off this? No, leave that on there. It's loose on the thing. Hey, yeah, put oh, the, yeah? Uh, pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this won't go on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe this will be a post, <laughs> a post video. <laughs> post on YouTube is pale, yes. <laughs> That one's already been done. Go on. Go on. Go on. Keep going to it. That's it. That's it. That that bang 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 like that is it undoing the nut. It's, it's shocking it to undo it. And that one. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to break it. You won't, you won't, you won't break it. <laughs> hey, it's going. It's going. There you go. Almost. There you go. Well done. I really don't want to break it. No, you won't break it. <laughs>